Hello everyone. Let's go to the Microsoft project. Click and open your Microsoft project. I select a new project. Create a blank project. Then we move on to the options. We must check what are the options are preset in your project. Go to the project options. Check general options. What is your view? You want with Gantt. Gantt chart and timeline, or just Gantt chart. I just click the Gantt chart. I ch choose the date format and display the USD, USD and Georgian calendar. We must select the Georgian calendar. Schedule options. We select the week starts on Monday. Fiscal year starts in January, and all the default start time and end time of the project. Hours per day, hours per week, days per month. Percentage schedule percentage options. Then we must choose the default fixed cost accrual as prorated, default task type as fixed unit. After this, then we move on to the. We just leave it as it is. The proofing. Save. You could choose a different folder for a project. Like you can create your separate project and save this all the updates in those folder then we move on to the advanced in this advanced section we must make sure the critical path is calculated based on the slack of zero days and the default earn value method is percent complete calculation options then close the pro close the project options okay now let's go to creation of the project we start to create a simple residential two-story villa we start with the foundation structure Come under two story villa. <coughs> For PCC, we take about two days starting from 9th December. Column footing six days. Then we go into the wall and column structure for ground floor. Ground floor. Column starter. This would come under the column and wall. And we indent it for column marking and starter. We just put the producer as a clean beam. That is. Fifth task. Similarly, we do the first floor, ground floor slab, ground floor slab, and first floor wall and column construction and overhead tank construction. So as we have, uh, we are adding the schedule task activities. Then the final activities, all the structural work are finished. So now we are roughly done with the schedule. Then we could see this. Some of the activities are auto scheduled. Some are manually scheduled. We make it uniform. We select those tasks and we make it auto schedule. Then we move on to the Gantt area and we reduce this timeline. We make it. We change the timeline. The time scale, middle tire and bottom tire. Bottom tire is weeks. We make it weeks instead of days. Then click OK. As we could see, the time scale is visible, and we still want to reduce the time scale to the count to two times. 
so it will fit into our window so we are done with the schedule part then we need to work planned, planned physical percentage and actual physical percentage firstly we save this as two files one is baseline file and the other one is updating file so let us go and save this file save as desktop baseline villa 2 and we save this as again we have to save as a working schedule so that we can update periodically working program or update program so we save this as in working program villa 2 so we are we we shall use we shall open and use the baseline program baseline villa 2 okay then we click on the column insert column we choose as percent complete we make we create all this percent as 100% complete as planned so we can see all we in a baseline to create a physical planned S curve we should make all the activities as 100% complete then we move to the task usage chart in the view section click task usage window in the task usage window at the right side of it where supposedly earlier was can shared you could see many options here you select the detail styles then you click on what the percent column which you installed earlier in, in the column section or click percent or cumulative percent complete we shall click it and we insert here in the detail styles then click ok again go to the details style click you unselect work just maintain the cumulative percent column this is a cumulative percent then go to the timeline click time click, click time scale sorry then again choose as per your requirement this one sh we shall make it as in weeks count we maintain as one the middle tire will make it as months then click ok so you could see that see, since second week of December there is an increase in the percentage the cumulative percentage we shall copy this cumulative percent from first week uh, first week December onwards so this four columns will complete in month first December to yeah the project starts on 8th December right so we once again check the time scale 
whether it is as per our requirement or not go to the bottom bar click count 1 we shall make it as week 1, week 2, week 3 to avoid any kind of confusions click OK so this is the week 1 in the December this is week minus 1 so we click from week 1 towards so there will be n number of so we just have to choose until end of April either we go to the backward and click from backward end of April which is week 20 click from the week 20 then sorry week 22 week 1 click from week 1 when you go to the ender just be slow so it's week 21 we click and copy this one so we have a pre-developed excel file the format is very simple so this is this is our format which we created for ourselves so so i you could see this chart click on this you could you could use a chart and you have to make uh, this columns like month what is the s curve weeks week one two week numbers and what is the planned what is the actual so we have select copied the plan one from the baseline project then we paste over here now it is time to compare actual progress against the physical progress in our physical progress s curve we know we are monitoring as per the weekly frequency we have to obtain actual progress on weekly basis it is up to as whether we monitor on weekly basis or monthly basis since we have already started updating on weekly pro basis the planned s curve is on weekly basis we shall update the actual progress as weekly basis so now for the week one we all can update the pcc as per site completion 100 percent and column footing 50 percent so when we update these two activities, the overall completion is 5%. This 5% has to be inserted in the into the actual uh, column, actual column of the week one. Then we can compare against uh, planned percentage. Similarly, for week two, week three, week four, we keep on updating all the activities over here, and we can insert the uh, obtained. Uh, overall percentage into the respective weeks and we can compare against the planned or uh, physical S curve. You could see here that we have updated the actual progress in the week 1 column, week 2 column, week 3 column, week 4 column, week 5 column, week 6 column. Here we can easily notice the difference in each week against the planned progress we can see what is lagging in the progress whether we are behind the progress or closer to the progress or higher the progress this way we can create physical s curve on monitor the actual progress so thanks for giving me an opportunity to present how to obtain physical and actual progress curve through microsoft project in easiest way i'll be coming up with new course new content in the next upcoming videos thank you for watching